Hi folks, uh, here's problem 32. I'm going to sketch it up for you. Uh, 32 reads, figure 4-53 shows a block M sub A on a smooth horizontal surface connected by a thin cord that passes over a pulley to a second block M sub B, which hangs vertically. A, draw a free body diagram for each block showing the force of gravity on each, the force of tension exerted by the cord, and any normal force. B, apply Newton's second law to find formulas for the acceleration of the system and for the tension in the cord. Ignore friction and the masses of the pulley and cord. So just to be clear here, you're going to be developing expressions and not plug any numbers in as yet. You're just going to leave them symbolic. Uh, problem 32 is where you'll substitute values. So if we get around to doing problem 32, you're going to substitute the values suggested in 32, and, or excuse me, 33 into 32. Without further ado, let's apply Newton's laws of motion. Go through a you know more of a checkbox. So uh, the first checkbox uh, that is Newton's first law, and that is to understand what the system is doing. Is it at rest? Is it moving at a constant speed, or is it accelerating? Well, the the problem suggests that it's accelerating, and it will because m sub a is on a smooth surface, no friction. That's coming up tomorrow. Okay, checkbox number two. Uh, knowing that we have a system that's accelerating, we're going to apply Newton's second law, which is the sum of the forces equals not zero or zero in case of rest and constant speed, but acceleration, ma. All right. And uh, Newton's third law, checkbox, that's where you label the diagram. And we're going to do that right now. So label, okay? Show all the action and reaction pairs. All right, so let's go, let's get after it. All right, I'm going to show a vector uh, that points down on M sub B. That represents the weight of M sub B. And then here's a vector that indicates the tension uh, that MB is pulling. Uh, up. And the other tension is directed to the right on MA. That's the tension on block, on block M sub A. Uh, we have the weight of M sub A, and we have the normal force with respect to M sub A. So I'm going to I'm going to write in what those are. So this is M B G. It's the weight of M B down, and then this is T B. That's the tension on B, and this is the tension on A. Uh, this is M sub A G, and this is the normal force. The normal force being the force at the table exerts up and counteracting the weight of the block down. All right. Uh, I talked about this thing called line of action or inspect the, along the line of action, walk along the line of action. And I'm going to show that line of action uh, with a bunch of dots. So I'm going to start from the left. I'm going to move across to the right over the pulley and down. So this is our line of action. Right. This is the line of action. These are the forces that are, you know, at, at work here moving this system. Okay, those are the forces that we're going to add up. So it, it'd be fair to say that when we apply Newton's second law, I mean parallel. So all those forces parallel or along the line of action. All right, let's do it. Uh, imagine, okay, you're this stick figure inspecting the line of action. So you're going to move right along. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, let's see, <laughs> take the head off the person. Sorry, Halloween's coming up. But uh, as you move through the line of action, each force you come to, you're going to add to the sum of the forces. Okay, I'm going to put the head back on that stick figure. So you're inspecting that line of action. So the first force you come to along the line of action is T sub A. And then the next force you come to, now T sub A points in the direction you're, that you're inspecting, T sub B points opposite because you're moving down uh, over the pulling down. So T sub B shows up as negative. There's your action reaction pairs. Now, the next force we come to is the weight of M sub B, and that's positive. I know it shows it's directed down. But we're going to use the convention along the line of action. So the direction in which we're adding, those forces that point toward us are going to be negative in the summation. 
and those forces that point away from us are going to show up as positive, be consistent. All right, the mass, uh, the mass MA is really the mass of the system. So that's going to be M sub A plus M sub B. So because they're connected by a cord, they move together. So we're going to lump them together. So add those masses together times the acceleration of the system. All right, since TA equals TB, in the case of a massless and frictionless pulley, those will cancel, okay? They'll cancel each other. Uh, they don't cancel like you're zero. It's just in the notation I'm using, they cancel. I want you folks to get in the habit of listing the tensions because in chapter nine, uh, when we study rotation, that pulley will have rotational inertia, which means it'll resist the change in the state of rotation. But since this pulley is massless and frictionless, you don't have to worry about that. And then that, if that's the case, then TA equals TB. But TA does not equal TB in chapter nine. All right, so let's solve this expression for the acceleration. You get A is equal to M sub B G over M A plus M sub B. Done. All right, I'm not saying that's easy enough, but the method I'm using is the method you use for any problem I throw at you. Okay, I know this is simple. This is an example of applying these three as laws. Applying the first law, identify the state of motion. Apply the second law, if it's acceleration, sum of the forces equal acceleration. Third law, label that diagram. Okay, understand the reaction, act, reaction, action pairs. All right. Now uh, that was part A. Now part B, they want to know what the tension in the strain is. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. Uh, I'm going to change color pens. And I'm going to surround M sub B. I'm picking M sub B as an example. I'm going to surround M sub B, and we're going to apply Newton's second law just on M sub B. And in doing so, you'll you'll calculate the tension in the core. So watch carefully. All right. This is how you calculate the tension in the core. You're going to bubble, isolate the mass. All right. So uh, we have. TB up, we have minus MBG down is equal to minus MBA. Now, this is a little different. In the bubble, I'm assigning the convention up is positive, down is negative. And so TB is up, MG, MBG is down. And why I chose negative M sub B that's because the acceleration is down. So up, down, down. Now, if you wanted to do the walk along the line of action through that bubble, you can do that. It, it, it works the same. All right, now, therefore, the tension in that string is equal to M sub B G minus M sub B A. So when you lower that mass, in an accelerated way, the tension in that string is going to decrease by the amount. Well, when I say decrease by the amount, if you hold that mass there at, at rest, the tension in the string is the weight of the object, m sub bg. But if you accelerate it down, you're going to decrease the tension in the string by the amount, m sub bA. All right, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, you have a good evening. And uh, I, might, I might do that other problem I signed this morning. I'm sorry I got the assignment out late, but you might have fun watching this video. It's going to be on my YouTube channel, so uh, I'll share the link with you in a few minutes.